All right, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, we were at Costco earlier, and <clears throat> they had, of course, they have the samples out and stuff, and they had the samples, oops, sorry, samples of enchiladas. Now, I think they were pork, and they were ready-made. Um, my husband really uh, liked it, and so I decided I was going to make chicken enchiladas tonight for dinner. So I'm getting my tortillas ready. Um, and I'm not going to bore you with all of the tortilla stuff that I've already done before, but um, <clears throat> it just makes the dish really, really reasonable. And as I struggle with this, this is a storage bag instead of me using a freezer bag. So that's part of it because it's thinner than the freezer bags. So I'm just going to get these tortillas started. Let me get this first one on and then I'll bring you back when I'm doing the assembly of the enchiladas. And my pan obviously is smoking hot. I'm going to give me a freezer bag too. So uh, anyways, um, I'm going to do the green chili uh, version of enchiladas. I Sometimes I do the red, but today he likes the green better and so I'm going to be a husband pleaser and make the green chili. Um, or the green sauce. And get some foil. So I can keep these nice and warm when they're done. And they bubble up on you. These are bubbling. It's the shortening that's in there. And then as you watch them, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll bring you over so you can. See how they get all bubbly? <coughs> really good um, and I could have made corn tortillas I'm just I'm not fond of mine for some reason and I love the flour tortillas and these are just plain there's no flavoring or anything so I will bring you back when I'm assembling my uh, chicken enchiladas all right YouTube I'm back and what I'm doing right now is I'm dumping a 16 ounce tub of sour cream into a medium sized bowl, not extra large, because this is going to be divided. This recipe my girlfriend gave to me, gosh, probably 20 years ago, and I've used it ever since. Now, you can do it with red or green sauce. My husband really likes the green sauce lately, so that's what I'm doing. You also want a can of chicken and mushroom soup. Now, this is for a small batch. This is a half batch, actually, because a whole batch of this takes the whole chicken, it takes 20 or 30 tortillas, I mean it's a lot and you, you've got enough for two big lasagna pans. We're not going to do that. We don't need that much. And I only made a dozen tortillas, so we're just going to go with a dozen tortillas. However much that comes out. And if I have leftover, maybe I'll make some more tortillas and put a couple in the freezer, who knows. I'm also going to, in the same bowl, I'm going to put some fire roasted diced mild green chilies. These are not at all hot. This is in a 7 ounce can. I love this size can. Perfect. Because some of them are too small. So, anyway, so you get this all mixed together and it's kind of a creamy sauce. This is by no means a traditional uh, enchilada. It's not a, a authentic Mexican recipe. So I'm not trying to pretend I'm Hispanic or anything. I do some things I think I do a little more authentic, but this is not one of them. So that's what it looks like. You can see the green chilies throughout. Um, the cream of chicken and mushroom soup adds a little more chicken flavor, and it's really good. So. You're going to divide that. So in another bowl, a bigger bowl, you add your, let's see, this is a 28 ounce size can of enchilada sauce, the green chili verde. So it's a very mild sauce on the heat scale. You're going to pour that in. And half of your creamy mixture. The other half is going to go on top. So, you want to save some toppings. This is also not a diet food. Um, 
course, my husband, it, it doesn't matter. He doesn't need to be on a diet. So, I just kind of work that in with the fork. Or you could use a whisk. The chunks kind of get caught in the whisk. So, I chose, I choose a fork. And beans that I did use that large can, there probably is going to be more than enough to make another batch. But um, I, what I might do is freeze the mixture, because you can freeze these enchiladas really well. I might just freeze the mixture and pull it out when I've made fresh tortillas. And maybe I could do pork or plain cheese or, you know, beef, whatever. So there's that mixture. Now I've got my warm uh, tortillas over here. And I have my pan that I'm going to put the uh, enchiladas in. So, get this out. Upside down. Can't have that. So, I like to wrap the tortillas in foil to help steam them along because it, I think it finishes the cooking process. They're still really warm. So, how well they're going to roll up little tiny things that they are, I don't know. And I deboned a chicken here, so I can put some of that chicken in this creamy green sauce. And I don't know that I want all that chicken in there. I'm going to save this out because I am going to make a chicken salad. It's a, a kind of an Asian chicken salad, so uh, not of the lettuce kind like I just made. It's more like to wrap in a wrap or a tortilla. So we just want enough of this that you've got some chicken in there. And the red sauce, you kind of scoop out your chicken pretty easily. This one's a little bit thicker, so it could be messier even. Mmm. Sure does taste good though. <laughs> so, you put a little bit of the chicken across there. You don't need a whole lot. I have enough for 20 people, I think, here. I'm definitely going to freeze that mixture. And then you want a couple tablespoons of shredded cheese. I went ahead and shredded up some cheese. So I'm going to roll these up. Put them seam side down in my casserole dish and go to the next one. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I get them all rolled up. And oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. All right, YouTube, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I've got my uh, one tray here of enchiladas all done. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enchiladas in there. And I've got my creamy mixture. I'm just going to top this. Let me just put that over the top. This is the sour cream, the green chili, and the soup mixture. Um, just a really yummy, but very mild enchilada. And as you can see, I've got a ton of the other half of that mixture with the chicken in it left. So. This goes in the oven at 350 until it's all heated through and the cheese is melted. Everything is cooked. So um, that's how I make my enchiladas. And I'll uh, bring you back when I serve up a plate. All right, YouTube. All right, YouTube. It's time to finish up this dinner that I made. I, I've got my chicken enchiladas, which is made with a green chili sauce. made a black bean salad which you can serve as hot or cold we're gonna have it cold um, it's one can of black beans I drain off most of the liquid and then I add fresh pico de gallo to it and it's absolutely wonderful so I hope you try that when I did not when I did not video making that because it's I had made the pico a, a, a day or two ago so um, anyway we're going to dish that up on the plate. It's just yummy. The pico has white onion, tomato, cilantro, jalapeno, 
Actually, there's some habanero in there um, alongside that. Uh, some garlic, salt and, salt and pepper, lime juice, lime juice. I mean, it's, it's got some flavors going on. So I just kind of put some down here. My husband just came in and he's hungry. He's been working hard getting weeds caught up outside. So out my enchiladas. Um, there were eight in this pan and really all you have to do is heat them through. I heated them up at 350 and find the separation. I did put some cheese on top because they, they had cheese inside but they didn't have any cheese on top. It just had the, the sour cream and soup mixture on top. So I wanted to go ahead and add some more cheese because I had some. So, I believe that this is two, I believe that's two enchiladas right there. It might be three, but I know my husband won't mind. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and show you how this looks. And I think I better have a bite. Now I made the homemade tortillas and I did, oh my goodness, smelled amazing. So I'm going to take a bite of this and give the rest to my husband. Okay. All right, YouTube. Let me get this over with. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. It's just got that really mild green chili flavor and the creaminess of the soup and the sour cream and then the homemade tortillas make it happen. So I hope you try this. I hope it inspires you to do something that maybe is a little different than your norm outside your box and uh, because it truly is fabulous. I'll give my husband a fresh fork because he doesn't want to eat eat after me. Anyway, put in a little bit more of this salad and there you go. Really pretty meal. Alright YouTube, I'll see you next time. I hope you rate and subscribe and comment. I love comments. Alright.